In this video, we're going to introduce you to the Husqvarna TS-142X lawn tractor. The Husqvarna TS-142X is a great option for anybody with a small to medium lawn and is looking for a good, solid, reliable lawn tractor without having to break the bank to purchase it. So let's jump into the features of the Husqvarna 142X and we'll start with the most obvious one when you're looking at this tractor and that is this completely new redesigned style seat. The seat is much more comfortable and much more stylish than the old plain style tractor seat that you found on their tractors in the previous years. And while you're out mowing, if you want to check to see how much gas you have left in the tank, all you have to do is simply look down because they have a slight window on the front of the fuel tank. The Husqvarna 142X has a large diameter soft touch steering wheel, which makes the steering wheel comfortable to hold on to for those long times of mowing, but also makes the tractor easier to steer because of the larger diameter of the steering wheel. The TS-142X has an hour meter with a service minder, and it has a manual style PTO clutch, meaning you push this lever forward, and as you push that forward, it tightens up the belt going back to the mower deck, which starts the blade spinning. To turn the mower deck off, you simply pull back on this handle, and it loosens up the belt and disengages the drive to the mower deck. As with many of the other Husqvarna lawn tractors, mowing in reverse is very simple. Simply turn the ignition switch to this setting, and you are able to mow in reverse without the tractor shutting off. You do not have to keep switching it back and forth or do anything else to it. Once it is set in that position, you are good to go. The TS-142X has the parking brake on the left side and the forward and reverse pedals on the right side. On the right side of the dash, you can see this lever here is for your cruise control, meaning when you reach a desired speed, you can pull up on this lever and lock the tractor at that desired speed until you choose to release it. The TS-142X cutting height ranges from one and a half inches up to four inches, and there are six different increments that you can set the mower deck at in between those heights. Looking here at the back of the Husqvarna 142X, you can see that they use the 10 inch wide tires to give you added traction. On the back of the frame, there's holes already there for mounting your collection system and other attachments if need be. And you have a spot to hitch up to your lawn cart or other towable accessories. The fuel tank fill is on the left rear fender of the TS-142X. If you flip the seat up, you can find the top of the fuel tank and where the fuel line comes out of the tank. Because the fuel is being drawn from the top of the fuel tank, this means that water, dirt, debris, or anything else that shouldn't be in your fuel tank sinks to the bottom and that suction hose inside the tank goes down within an inch or two of the bottom of the tank. The idea of this design is that all of that dirt, debris, and moisture will stay laying on the bottom of the tank rather than being sucked up into your fuel lines where it can cause damage to the fuel lines, your carburetor, or your engine. And speaking of the engine, the TS-142X comes with a Husqvarna branded Briggs & Stratton 20-horse V-twin endurance engine. The TS-142XK comes with a Kohler 7000 series V-twin. And for anybody that's wondering, the regular TS-142 with no X in the model number comes with a Briggs & Stratton single cylinder engine. And as you look here at this Briggs & Stratton endurance 20 horsepower V-twin under the hood of this TS-142X, you can see that there is plenty of room to access all the parts of your engine, so it's very easy to maintain the engine in these tractors. And when you look behind it, you can find your battery and the majority of your wiring. Everything is very easy to get to and very simple in its design. The engine compartment of the Husqvarna TS-142X is covered by a hood that looks a bit similar to ones they've used over the past few years on their lawn tractors but has a completely redesigned grille and features LED headlights. The LED headlights are available in the TS-142X, the TS-142XK, but not in the TS-142. Under the front end of the TS-142X, you will find a cast iron front axle with greaserts and adjustable drag links for your steering. The TS-142X and the TS-142XK 
have a stamped steel mower deck that is reinforced. This is a two blade mower deck and they use ported cast aluminum spindle housings on these mower decks. The reason for the ported spindle housings is to help draw more air in from the top of the mower deck. This improves the air movement through the mower deck, which helps improve the disbursement of your clippings and improves the performance of your mower when using a collection system. Clipping disbursement and collection system performance is also aided by the large opening in the discharge side of the mower deck. There are two anti-scalp wheels on this 42 inch mower deck. One in the front on the right, one in the front on the left. Both anti-scalp wheels have multiple positions they can be placed in. Please consult your owner's manual to see the proper way to adjust your anti-scalp wheels based on your preferred cutting height. So here's a little recap of the features of the Husqvarna TS-142X. You get a 20 horsepower V-twin engine. It's a Briggs & Stratton Endurance V-twin in the TS-142X, a Kohler 7000 series V-twin in the TS-142XK. 42 inch cut mower deck with a range of one and a half inches to four and a half inches for your cutting height. Reinforced mower deck, LED headlights, the 20 10 by 8 rear tires, remember the 10 inches wide rather than the 8 inches wide, cast iron front axle, soft touch steering wheel, large diameter steering wheel for easier steering, the premium soft seat, visible fuel level, and you also get a washout port on your mower deck, which we didn't show you in the pictures there, but that comes standard on all of these Husqvarna tractors. Ported spindle housings, remember to increase the airflow through your mower deck to improve the performance of the mower deck. And you get a tube bumper on the TS-142XK. Now price-wise coming in under the TS-142X or TS-142XK, you have the TS-142 and you have the YTH-18542. Those are your other two options with 42-inch cut mower decks. And of course, the big thing will be, well, why do I want to pay extra for the TS-142X or the TS-142XK over one of those two models? Well, here's what you get with the TS-142X or TS-142XK compared to the TS-142. You get wider rear tires for better traction, you get LED headlights, and you get a V-twin engine, either the Briggs Endurance or the Kohler 7000 series. Now, comparing the TS-142X or TS-142XK to the YTH-18542, that YTH-18542 might come in cheaper price-wise, but what you're not getting is the wider rear tires for better traction, the LED headlights, the V-twin engine, the soft-touch steering wheel, the larger diameter steering wheel to make the machine easier to steer, the visual fuel level, the better, softer seat, and you're not getting the larger fuel tank. Three gallons in the TS-142X, TS-142XK compared to two and a half gallons in the YTH-18542. Now, after looking at all the features and the differences between them, you can see that the TS-142X or TS-142XK is definitely a better value and a better machine than the YTH-18542. Now, when you compare the TS-142 to the TS-142X or TS-142XK, there can be a little bit of an argument made there. But the TS-142X or TS-142XK with that V-twin engine is going to do better for you if you're towing around any kind of accessories. They make a snowplow, snowblower that you can mount on the front of this machine. They have the collection system. So all of that stuff you need to take into consideration when you go to purchase one of these tractors, all of those things are going to work and perform better for you with that V-twin engine compared to the single cylinder engine. So if you have plans on this machine lasting you for quite a while and being able to do a lot of different things with it, that's where it's worth the extra money to move up to the TS-142X or the TS-142XK to get that V-twin engine. Yeah, it might only be a horsepower and a half or so on paper, but it makes a world of difference as far as the torque and the ability for the machine to get the job done.
Now, after seeing all these features of the TS-142X or TS-142XK, the question becomes, should you be looking into purchasing a TS-142X or a TS-142XK? Well, are you looking for something to be able to collect your leaves in the fall? Are you looking for a good, reliable tractor that you can add a snowblower to the front of? Or a tractor you can add a snow plow to the front of? Are you looking for a lawn tractor that does a good job of mulching up those grass clippings? Are you looking for a tractor with a smaller size mower deck because you have a lot of narrow openings that you have to mow through? Are you looking for a lawn tractor that is well balanced and does good on slight inclines? Are you looking for a good, reliable, brand new lawn tractor for under $2,500? Are you looking for a good, reliable lawn tractor with a three-year warranty, bumper to bumper? Are you looking for a good, solid, reliable lawn tractor that is easy for you to service and maintain and keep running for years to come? Well, if you answer yes to any of those questions, then yeah, it's definitely worth it and definitely in your best interest to take a look at the TS-142X or the TS-142XK from Husqvarna. This concludes our look at the Husqvarna TS-142X. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.